At last, President Emerson Umingagwa has approved the world's best and most advanced internet company, Starlink. The development is a major boost as it puts Zimbabwe ahead of many African countries in approving the technology that will soon see cell phones obtaining direct transmission from satellites above. What is it that people are not being told? There are several blind spots which Zimai now explores and exposes. A suspicious prosecution. The first issue is that the whole arrest and prosecution of ZANU PF spokesperson Chris Mutsvang was son was a war between Wignell Chaveo's IMC company and Neville's project. Chris's wife, Monica Mutsvangwa, while information minister wanted to shove the Starlink contract to her son. Neville, who is in business with Justice Minister Ziambi Ziambi. That is when the clash started. The tussle has between Chaveo and the Mutsvangwas who boast of over three decades in telecommunications technological expertise, of which the husband announces. I am the one who made Strive Masi Yua successful, he doesn't want to acknowledge it. And the wife is listed in a UN publication for among others that. Monica commands an exceptional business acumen. She has been a director of Ma Chris Consultancy Private LTD since 1991. The company has championed major business initiatives and has over the years executed a number of revolutionary projects in the national economy. These include working with Qingshan Holdings Group ranked number 238 on the global Fortune 500 list of companies to establish flagship projects in Zimbabwe, among them the 1 US dollar. 2 billion Disco Mvumichiva Manhai Steel Plant, the Dinsen Metallurgical Coke Batteries and Wang and Ferrochrome Furnaces in Silas. Chaveo's battle for government contracts began in 2013 when he signed up for the controversial Gwanda Solar Tender barely a few years from his release from prison. Fast forwards to 2024, nine years after mismanaging 5 million US dollars Zisa money and being criticized for it by Omingagwa, Chaveo has gone into league with key members of the first family. This end-time battle has historic similarities to the Joyce Majura Strive Masiiwa TIF of the 1990s that saw the then telecommunications minister Majura refuse the Econet wireless founder a license. The only difference at present is that there is no Masiiwa equivalent. The current players are all members of the same in-house, ZANU PF against its own businessmen. This article series offers an investigative commentary into Zimbabwe's Starlink saga delving deeply into its historical intricacies and projecting the industry's future. Join us as we unravel the untold stories and unveil the transformative potential that lies ahead.